Tonight, we find piles of trash are being illegally dumped in Atlanta neighborhoods, attracting rats and coyotes and raising some serious concerns about sanitation and disease. Absolutely. So residents say they're pleased to the city's 911 or the 311 hotline for help are going unanswered. Savannah Levins joins us now with a story you'll only see on 11 Alive. Yeah, so if someone dumps trash in your neighborhood, you can file a ticket online or over the phone with Atlanta 311 and it should be picked up, but we found cases where that is not happening. It's been going on for a while. It's blatant. Right in front of a sign that says no dumping. It's gross. Uh, now it's just going all the way down the block. And it's frustrating for residents like John Howard, yeah. who lives on Swanee Avenue in West Atlanta. It looks like no one cares and people here, they do care. John worked hard to buy a home here for his family. I have a three-year-old and then across from me, they, they have children. Didn't expect to have to deal with garbage, rats. He says he and his neighbors have filed multiple requests over the past several months with 311 to have the trash picked up. A couple days after that, the ticket will be closed out. And the trash will still be here? Still be here. We requested records from the city and found so far in 2022, more than 50 people had filed complaints that their illegal dumping cases filed with 311 had been prematurely closed with no resolution. 143 addresses received more than one report for the same issue. Trash that's just sitting and stewing in the hot Georgia sun. Logging onto the site and putting a ticket is supposed to, something that's supposed to be taken care of right away, not just let piled up like it is now. We reached out to Public Works about the cases that seem to be prematurely closed. A spokesperson said in part, in many instances, crews cleaned debris from the reported neighborhoods and illegal dumping occurred shortly after the work was completed, adding that some cases were closed because it was determined the trash was on private property, so the responsibility to clean it falls on the homeowner, not the city. To address the growing issue, the department is also purchasing more surveillance cameras to install in areas that receive multiple complaints. John hopes his street, which has received more than 30 311 complaints for trash so far this year, might be on that list. You know, a lot of neighborhoods that do have them, the cameras are there, you don't see the, the garbage like this. So that, that's just frustrating, very. So after I interviewed John, I alerted Public Works about the issue on his street. The trash was removed shortly after.